What's up guys, this is That's Me and I'm coming to you with a updated deck profile today. And today I'm going to show you my UA deck profile for the new format. So, the Link uh, Structure Starter deck brought us some interesting things and actually helped improve this game's, this deck's consistency just a little bit. So, uh, let's get into the deck profile. First, we're starting off with some standard stuff. Three midfielder, two slugger, two ace. This is fairly standard if you know you ace. Uh, slugger is your Armades, ace is your Divine Wrath. Midfielder is your normal summon. <laughs> Next is two rebounder. Uh, I bumped this up to two just because of the fact that we're playing a lot of special summon mon monsters in this version of the deck, and you'll be able to get this effect off way more often and it gives you more utility later down the road i just like having two at the moment uh just because one i've found is just not enough in this current format uh one goalkeeper and one dunker i am not playing blockbacker or um the level eight i can't even remember what it's freaking called playmaker uh one because goalkeeper is just better uh than either one of them at the moment and goalkeeper is one of the worst cards uh goalkeeper is really powerful because again like it's it, and, and, and it's powerful in its own way in the fact that it prevents destruction. Uh, Blockbacker is not good because it forces monster to de monsters to defense mode when they're special summoned. And the two decks that are really uh, powerful right now, True Draco and probably Lynx, or anything to do with Lynx, um, that you can't really goalkeeper them. So, I mean, not goalkeeper, blockbacker them. You can't make them lose one turn and go to defense mode because that's against the rules. So, yeah. Next, we're playing three Gofu because Gofu's really dumb right now. It's an instant link three. Uh, it's yeah, and it's also tribute fodder. That's very easy to make. Uh, next, three Link Slayer. Link Slayer is really powerful. It's the best card out of the structure deck in my opinion. Uh, it's a spe free special summonable monster. That's also a twin twister. It sets you up really well with rebounder and global plays. So yeah. Uh, speaking of which, one global. One Maxi for the Hand Trap. And then for the spells, we're playing three Stadium, three Signing Deal, and one Turnover Tactics. Again, I'm not playing the Equip spell because it's a bit of a Glass Cannon card. Um, I just particularly don't like it at the moment. Uh, that could very well change in the future. Turnover Tactics is really stupid. Uh, it's just, I, I have gone, I have played two copies of this. I've played one copy of this. i played no copies of this. I don't think I've ever played three. I don't think I would ever play three. It would become cloggy at that point, but I think one at the moment is working, especially against decks that rely on the extra deck. So, because they can't really do much about it. Next. Uh, two terraforming. Yeah. Just really good. Three foolish burial goods. This is a staple now on UA decks just because it gets you searches. It's too powerful. Um, one foolish burial because it sets you up for a rebounder and global plays. And one Rota because it's Rota. For the traps, we're playing a three penalty box because it's a search card and it's also an okay battle trap. Um, and then three solemn strike and one warning for the solemn brigade. Next, we have our very shiny tokens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Playing those for link markers as well as regular tokens for whatever reason. And then uh, one Naturi Beast for the extra deck monsters. One Barkeon. One Zeta. This is actually really powerful at the moment, and I'm tacking this in just because I feel like it could be very useful. Um, if you are able to set this guy up, on your turn, your opponent is, is has a deck that relies on the extra deck, therefore they need link monsters in order to, uh, to function. Uh, you can actually um, really ruin their day with Zeta. If you don't know what, what Zeta does, uh, you can target one extra deck monster that your opponent controls, or excuse me, one special summon monster your opponent controls, and banish both it and this card. So you can banish one of their link monsters that they just summoned and then basically lock them out of their extra deck, which is, it's a soft lock. You can easily get out of it if you have the resources, but yeah, Zeta's just really, really damn powerful at the moment, in my opinion. Next, uh, Omega, if I am able to get a hold of Pot of Desires, this will definitely be a staple in the deck just because one, it gets you a lot of utility out of your penalty boxes and two, recycles cards out of the um that uh, little zone called the bandage zone um 
Next is this guy, Vermilion Dragon. The reason why I'm playing this guy is just because he's an easy access card. Um, he's the level nine. He's the easiest access card for level nine synchros for this deck uh, because Gofu is a thing, and you can just make him with midfielder. Um, one Leo, probably the easiest synchro other than Star Eater to make. Just, they're really powerful. Leo's really a bitch to get over, and same with Star Eater. And they're really powerful. I mean, Star Eater's 3,200 tech, and this guy's 31. And, yeah, <laughs> they're just really difficult to deal with. And you don't really care if you only have one card in your extra deck monster zone, just because uh, you really don't go into your extra monster zone. You don't really go into your extra deck that, that often. Next, one Emerald, one Dweller for the rank 4 Xyz. One Volk, one Ptolemy M7, and one Guy Dragon for the rest. For the Link Monsters, we're playing two Spider and one Deco Talker. Now, the reason why I went with this ratio one, just because you can access Deco Talker very easily in this deck. Um, with two Link Spider and a Gofu, which is super super easy but uh the real reason the big reason why we're playing these two is because it makes the most utility out of gofu and uh if you didn't know the restrictions on the tokens for gofu is that you can't tribute them and you can't synchro with them however if you swap them out for a link spider you can tribute over the link spider for one of your monsters and they didn't go into something bigger using gofu and yeah you have a dead token on board but who really cares about that so um, yeah, it's, I just think it's, it gets you the most utility, and honestly, I really want to bump this up to three, because I feel like it would be even more utility, but, uh, currently two is working for me, so, yeah, uh, that's it for this deck profile, guys, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.